The Truth, Justice and Peace Commission has commenced peace mission and conflict resolution in a number of states with a view to producing a working document for the state government. This was the crux of the matter at the stakeholders' engagement held in Aoka, the state capital, where the commission obtained virtual information from community leaders and other stakeholders as to how to find lasting solution to security problems, boundary issues and orders in the state. The chairman of the commission, Professor Chide Odin Kalu, stressed that the stakeholders' meeting was one of the ways to establish communication and confidence building for victims, communities, survivors, as well as establishing dialogue with a view to setting up a process of peace relation and peaceful coexistence in the state. Stakeholder engagement is important, and that is why we are grateful for the state government, particularly for the presence here today of the leadership of the three arms of the government led by Mr. Deputy Governor. We cannot take that for granted, nor can we take for granted the presence of everyone here, from the traditional rulers to persons living, I'm particularly pleased, delighted to see persons living with disabilities represented across the board here. This is considered critical for informed understanding of the context of the scope of the actors and victims and typologies of violent conflict prevalent in Anambra State as a foothold into the Southeast. For the past one year, on a weekly deliberation in the Executive Council Chamber, there is no meeting there that we don't put in two, three hours on the state of crime in the southeast in Anambra and by extension the whole of the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.